uh, introduce the principles that we'll deal with. You know, blocking, trapping. Just to learn from, from the striking point. Now, naturally, when somebody attacks, even, you, even if you're not training, you're going to respond. You know, the first thing you do if somebody's throwing a punch at you, first thing you do is just like throw with your hands. You know, just because you're trying to defend yourself. It's a natural response. The thing is here is that what we do is we have a particular science that we deal with, a particular method. So I throw up my hand and I block and I deflect his move. Thank you. 
it up to my throat. He wants to rock. Thank <laughs> you. 
He doesn't know. This is the nature of Nijitsu. You don't know what to expect. Thank <laughs> you. 
So it's just a possibility. You got to train yourself. You nervous, your heart's beating, but you can focus. You see, because what you're doing, you see, you you're not talking, you're not thinking about beating this mechanism. That bullet leaves that chamber in the minimum of a second. So you're not geared on trying to beat the gun. But this here, this mind of his, it's got to register quick, and it can't register as quick as that gun. That's why you see people at the target range and they shoot shooting fast because they're trying to register. You know, shooting rapid fire, rapid fire, because that's the way you got to train yourself. So what you're doing is here. Now, if you tense up, he can feel that through that gun. If you get ready to make a move, he can feel that. But what you want to do is you want to relax your energy. I mean, you, but you want to, you know, I'm submissive. Look, man, whatever you need, you know. And see, before he can think about it, and then you can just, then you just do whatever technique you need to do. Here. See, now I'm moving, as I move, as I move the gun, I'm moving my body. I'm not just moving, standing there, because the gun can could, could eject, both can eject, and fire, and I'm still in the path of the bullet. So when I move, I move, and then I become part of his body. You see? And then all this is laid out before he can retreat. And then I learn to do it. Now, normally, he's going to have his, his finger in the trigger guard. So I make that now. You got to know your weapon. This is a semi-automatic. It's got a slide piece here. So you got to know there's a port here. You got to know where to place your hand. You place your hand on here. Even though that, you're not going to stop the gun from firing. So if you place your hand here where the port is at, that gun will be ejected and it'll pinch and it'll grab your skin. You know, your hand and your nerve. Now, unless you're ready to take all that pain, and you, you might because you, your life is in danger. But just know where to place, and somebody you gotta train. So you gotta know your weapon. So when, I, when I'm uh, dealing with this weapon here, when I move, I, I go to the side, the frame, here, <coughs> you see? And if it ejects, it won't catch my hand. At the same time, the bullet fires here. By the time he makes any move, I just work on his, Work on his wrist here, yes. and I work on his wrist. Now, if he has his finger in the finger guard, when I snatch it, I should break it at the same time. Yes. And that pain, if I if I move here and I bring it up, you see that? You see that? That's the, the nature. Okay, the head move. Somebody wants to deal with your head. Yes, so move. And I grab hold of his form of his arm. And I turn the weapon towards him. He wants to fire, fire against him, and then I control the stop. Hit. Hit shot here. Now, and I disarm him. This is what we do all day long in the class. Disarm, disarm, disarm. Learning to manipulate the drugs. If you tell me pushing me back, here, he's got the gun in my back, here, I don't make any move again. If I do this, if I tense up, he can feel that through that gun. I just learn to relax. Look, you got it. Now, I always like to keep my hands up, unless he said, put your hands down. But you don't do this. You got it. Put it in. Take it out. Take it out. Put it in. You don't do this and then do that. Because he, he's just as nervous as you are. And any sudden move that he makes, it's going to set him off. Now you gotta do it at the same coordination body movement so that he don't feel threatened. So when he, take it back. When he do it, oh please, you know, I'm already there. So he don't feel threatened, because this is all, it's already moving, so I just move. Here, now when I move, when I move here, remember I'm just not spinning here. I'm taking this move, I'm hitting this elbow as I move, and move my body out of the way. And it's done in a quick set. And then I move and I control hit. So when I hit this arm, when I when I come here and I move here, I at least get that out the way. But see, if I stand there and do that, he, the bullet can still graze me or penetrate. So what I'm doing is I use my body arm, and I control the arm, and I take it up. And it's all about coordination. So I hope we I hope we share some minimal. 
understanding of what we do in our martial arts training. As you see the demonstration of the children, they enjoy what they're doing. They understand it. They get to know themselves physically, mentally, spiritually. They understand the environment, discipline, their focus, and everything they do in this class. I always tell them they got to take it home. If they, if they obey me, first and foremost, they obey, if, if they're Muslim, they obey Allah and His Messenger, and they obey their parents. And now, then they obey the teacher. So the parents and the teachers are working together, inshallah, in terms of disciplining the growth of the children. And then the younger people, you know, they're, you, as you see, they're moving up the ladder as well. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, now